What's going on guys and welcome back to my Minnesota Vikings franchise series season 5 at 6 and 8 we have been officially knocked out of playoff contention the Lions have a better record than us against the NFC and we split our season series and we also lost the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and so we will not be going to the playoffs but we still have one important game left on the schedule we are not going to take it easy against the Green Bay Packers and put our backups in we're going to go to Lambeau in the snow Aaron Rodgers on offense here's at the Minnesota 27 yard line right now he's looking to air it out against this Vikings secondary and that pass is broken up by Sharice Wright. Good play. He's played pretty well all season actually. I've been impressed by him. Second and ten. Pressure off the edge. Rodgers stays on his feet but then he is sacked eventually by Phil Taylor. Loss of three on the play. Third and thirteen now. Rodgers back to throw. Going deep to the end zone and that one's gonna go in through the back of the end zone actually and that's gonna bring the Packers up to three nothing after a field goal. So the Vikings on offense and Ponder. He wants to air it out and play aggressive in this game. Nothing to lose for the Minnesota Vikings. They can do whatever they want to do in this game, but Ponder overthrows Jamez Logan, then on third and seven, pressure in his face, and he overthrows Jamez Logan for the second time on the drive, so Packers with the ball now, third down and three for Aaron Rodgers, pass broken up over the middle, Chad Greenway, that will make the Packers punt the ball now, and they will do so here on fourth down and three, John Ryan kicking it deep, and Mark Harrison thinks about returning it, and he's like, nah, I'm not going to do it, but in the snow, the ball does not bounce very well or roll very well, and so the Vikings will take the ball the nine yard line now Adrian cutting outside cutting inside and come on man the speed is that all it takes for Adrian Peterson of course it's Adrian Peterson so he's gonna go to the end zone 91 yards and that's touchdown for Minnesota after a pretty disappointing season overall from the Vikings offense Peterson still has good numbers because he had some big carries this year and some big games but it definitely wasn't what we wanted and this is not what we wanted here a 45 yard completion from Aaron Rodgers to Randall Cobb to begin that last drive and then Rodgers finds Greg Jennings and he's going to go into the end zone so a very very quick drive the Vikings zone defense was definitely exposed there and so now the Packers are going to kick it away and back deep is Dexter McCluster I don't know what yard line that is because it's snowing out and he's going to go up to the left side now trying to get some room off the edge and he is going to be tackled at about the 41 yard line where the Vikings set up shop hand the ball off to Toby Gerhardt up the middle he's going to get about nine yards in this carry I've given him a lot more carries I believe in this season than I have in previous seasons and he's played pretty well and now he's going to cut it back to the left side look at that nasty cut this is Toby Gerhardt this is not Adrian Peterson but guess what it's the same result Toby Gerhardt goes 50 yards to the end zone that was pretty cool and so the Vikings have gotten some big plays surprisingly in the running game against the Packers but they keep answering back with the pass plays Randall Cobb 76 yards touchdown what is this this is Lambeau Field it's probably like two degrees out we're playing like at least a couple inches of snow on the ground not even shoveled out of the way and yet it's 14 to 17 right now and we're not even through a quarter of play Adrian Peterson's already done his work for the day 100 and some odd yards and we give the counter play to Peterson if you think he's done racking up the big carries then you were wrong because here he goes, 49 yards to the house, Adrian Peterson, hardly a human being, even that uh, we're in season 5, he's still a, a monster in this series, but we can't stop him today, I guess, James Starks gets loose off this screen pass into Minnesota territory, we may break the scoreboard here, we're going to have basketball scores, Rodgers though, back to pass on first down, we bring the pressure, we bring the blitz with Vontez Perfect. And he's a mean linebacker. He puts Rodgers down for the sack. But then they hand the ball to James White and catches off guard, and they get the first down. Nice job. Running game doing very well despite the conditions. Passing game actually pretty well as well. So second and seven for Rodgers, and he's going to get sacked once again. Phil Taylor, sack number two. Bringing up third down and 16 now out of the shotgun. Rodgers takes the snap, and he's going to go over the middle to Kellen Winslow, who's short of the first down, and the Packers would kick a field goal. It's 21-20 to here as we near halftime. Peterson, he can't get away this time. He's tackled, and the guy who made the tackle gets hurt because Adrian Peterson is, you have no business trying to tackle him, really. But then Ponder gets sacked from behind. Story of the season, Prentice Wagner with a sack. Rodgers now third and 10. We're inside of two minutes to go here in the first half as Rodgers takes a snap back and come on man we cannot cover today Randall Cobb to the end zone again those purple zones I gotta start using those because the flat zone there's just too many holes right there you can see here it's exposed once again they're gonna do it once more to Randall Cobb and so I knew there that's when I realized okay purple zones I'm locking this down my best 
cornerback there, and Claiborne instead he goes and plays the flat. Come on, Morris? He was too concentrated on the guy shallow and forgot about the guy going deep, and especially in this situation, you go with the guy that's going deep. And so now Rodgers finds Robert Woods for the touchdown. Packers tack on another score before halftime. It's 34-21 to here in the second half. Packers football, Rodgers over the middle, Jordy Nelson with the catch. Fumble here is just that he was down, it was fine. So uh, Jansen Jackson picks up the fumble for no reason. And so the Packers will get the football back, obviously. Third down and six, Aaron Rodgers. Quick pass left side, Greg Jennings, and he's met and stopped. He's hit hard by Tasharvin Bell, who's played all right in this season. But now it is third down and eight, Rodgers short, and that was Randall Cobb wide open. And Rodgers missed him, Cobb wasn't on the same page. And so bringing out the field goal unit now, long kick is up and it is no good off the crossbar and that's going to give the Vikings the football with great field position handoff to Peterson up the middle trying to make some cuts but he gets about seven eight yards on this carry this is over a buck sixty on just eight carries so third and eight now Ponder wants to air it out decent protection as Ponder throws right side fits it into Larry Fitzgerald very tight window and Larry hangs on he's dropped some catches in traffic lately so it's good to see him make plays even though the games now really don't matter and Ponder over the middle Touchdown, Percy Harvin. Vikings cut into this Packers lead. It's now one score, only down by six points. 3.30-something to go here in the third quarter. Rodgers staying tall in the pocket, going deep on third and 12 to the sideline to Greg Jennings, and he takes a shot. He would have been out of bounds anyway. So Ponder second and seven outside is Kyle Rudolph powering through Tremont Williams for the first down as he's going to get a second catch and convert, and then second down and five. Ponder is going to drop back in the pocket, and he's going to find Larry Fitzgerald coming across. That's only good for about four yards, so definitely got to stretch the field some more. I mean, only like 10 yards of completion, not a very good rating. Then on third and one, Adrian Peterson does get us the first down, and now we want to air it out here and try to get another score on the board as we edge towards the fourth quarter. Ponder had pressure coming. A guy got hurtled, and then he finds Jamez Logan, who takes a shot, gets a little bit hurt, dinged up a little bit, but third and two, Ponder back to throw, and that one's knocked away, and so the Vikings will go for the field goal and make it 34-31, to 31, only down by three as the Vikings are playing good against the run but pretty poor against the pass Jelani Jenkins with a tackle and handoff to James Starks again and once again it's Jelani Jenkins man he's really showing me something special right now I mean ratings don't mean everything C potential doesn't mean everything I mean Jelani's playing out of his mind right now and so Percy Arvin once again making a first down grab playing on the outside on that play because Jamez was a little bit banged up and Adrian is still getting his yards big first down here as we get to the Green Bay 30 yard line over 220 yards New Set of downs, Ponder looking to stretch the field, but pressure in his face, and he is going to be sacked by A.J. Hawk. And that forces third down and long for Christian Ponder now. Needs to stretch the field vertically to get a first down. And Ponder's going to go underneath, actually, to Mark Harrison. And we're going to take our three points here. Wanted to make an easier field goal attempt for Sebastian Janikowski with 11 mile an hour wind. Get him a little bit closer. Kick is up. Tie ball game here at Lambeau Field. Another Vikings Packers thriller here. They've had some great games in the past. And now Sebastian Janikowski kicks it off deep and back deep as Prentice Wagner, who fields it from the goal line and goes upfield. And he's met by Taylor Mays. Ball knocked loose. It's picked up by Tisharvin Bell. Easy Minnesota Vikings touchdown. And the Vikings have captured the lead here late in the game at Lambeau Field. And the Vikings are on the verge of upsetting their division arch rivals. And after a Packers 3 and out, the Vikings have the opportunity to hopefully put this game away. But A.J. Hawk sacks Christian Ponder. Now third and nine. Ponder to throw over the middle. Corliss makes a catch. First down Minnesota. Under three minutes to go. Here can the Vikings hold on. Ponder ends the ball off to Adrian. And the misdirection play. Loss of three. A.J. Hawk is there once again. And so third and six. Very pivotal play for the Vikings. Quick pressure. Ponder. Sack fumble. But it's picked up by the Vikings. So they have to punt the ball. What can Aaron Rodgers do here. Two minute drill time from the six yard line. He's going to waste no time and go deep. Jordy Nelson, he's going to get the big first down all the way to the Minnesota 49 yard line out to 43. Rodgers throwing on second down and four and open is Jordy Nelson again making the catch in front of Sharice Wright. So the Packers are within striking distance but have to get it in the end zone here inside of a minute to go. Rodgers sitting in the pocket. Plenty of time to throw. Waits for Jennings to come back who makes the catch and Taylor Mays brings him down along with Tisharvin Bell.
And so now 46 seconds to go as Rodgers takes a snap over the middle. Greg Jennings, touchdown Packers as Rodgers leads them down the field. They tie the game up. And now what can the Vikings do here at the end of regulation? Ponder's going to get sacked yet again. Loss of 10 on the play, so second and 20 now. Maybe try this one more time. And Ponder tries to go deep, but he gets sacked again. So we're going to go to overtime, guys, here at Lambeau Field. And the Vikings do call tails and win the toss. And they're going to receive the ball. And and so can Ponder and the Vikings knock off Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Ponder hands ball off Adrian Peterson up the middle. No room to run. B.J. Raji in there on the tackle. One yard gain on the play. Then Ponder back to throw. He's going to launch it deep. He's throwing for Percy Harvin. He makes the catch. Tremont Williams isn't going to catch him. Neither is Sam Shields. Touchdown Vikings. Walk off victory for Christian Ponder. Even though the game doesn't matter. Still a very exciting moment here. And so that was the last game that really mattered for us because it was the Green Bay Packers. We're not going to let them have an easy victory against our backups. And Jennings, Cobb, those guys torched us through the air. But in the end, the Vikings made more plays and made the big one in overtime. And so we have one more game left this season, guys, is against the Chicago Bears. They're in the division as well, but they're only 4-11. We want to play hard against the Green Bay Packers no matter what. And so backups are going to be in next week, guys, for the final game of the season. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time to conclude. Include season five.